Hey, GL here. Uh, we're looking at Kerbal Space Program. I played a little bit of it recently. Uh, it's on sale on Steam. Basically, you're building a spaceship, which is pretty cool. Uh, and there's lots to deal with uh, from the rockets, the different phases when the rockets fall off as you're sending in the space to all these modules you can add on to it. It's a lot of fun. Uh, but getting the rocket just right so that it flies well is a, is a whole other challenge. You can see here I'm loading it up with a bunch of stuff to try to get it into space. Uh, and then you actually have to fly it yourself too. And so you have the yaw and the pitch and uh, the boosters and all that sort of stuff. In this case, uh, I cannot... And then when you crash, uh, you can actually get a damage report or like a log of events of stuff that happened. I tried a few different ones. Uh, you know, a good set of them ended like this. Uh, you definitely don't want to be off balance. Uh, I just basically strapped these little guys onto gigantic fuel tanks and try to send them off. Then eventually you get them up in the air, but uh, then you actually have to fly, and that turns into a problem. In this one I've got a couple of phases there, but uh, they just don't hold on, the, the pieces don't hold on well, and so you have to also design the spaceship to hold on to them better. But eventually you figure it out, and you sort of, you're able to get up into space, you can see here. Uh, you can see some of it. And then that opens up a whole other part of the game. Uh, once you're actually in space, you can put satellites in orbit, it looked like, and orbit yourself. Uh, get to the moon, land on another planet, uh, maybe even further away than the moon. Uh, and drive around, I think collect stuff as well. Uh, in this case, I got into space, but I didn't have any plan to actually get back. And that's all I had for this one. Later.